the kitchen's a mess, that must mean it's time for the 2024 baking challenge week number 11, Irish soda bread muffins. Woo, okay, this is supposed to be an easy recipe. I provided you with the shopping list on Wednesday, so let's get baking. If you are new to the 2024 baking challenge, let me fill you in on a few of the details. I have selected 52 recipes, one for every single week this year. These recipes are new to me, so we're baking them for the first time together. I can promise you four things. I'm baking on a budget, so, you know, do with that what you will. I'm cutting corners. If I can skip or make something easier, that's what I'm going to do. Some of these recipes may end up getting altered a little bit because we have a picky eater in the house and I have a really long list of food allergies. And the fourth and final thing that I can promise you is that I'm going to make mistakes. I am not a professional baker. I'm just here for a good time and some tasty treats. So settle in and just accept that this is going to be chaos baking. That's what we call it here. So um, it is the day before St. Patrick's Day. And I have this Irish soda bread muffin recipe. Uh, if you've tried Irish soda bread, then you know what we're getting into. It's just gonna be in muffin form, okay? I am 17% Irish, woohoo, I'll take it. Uh, so this is something that you can make before you head off to your local St. Patrick's Day parade. This is gonna be hopefully an easy recipe. Muffins generally are supposed to be easy. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crank our oven up to 400 degrees. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I started the timer. <laughs> yeah, real professional. Okay, start your oven, get it preheating to 400 degrees, okay? I've got the recipe right here so that we can um, not skip anything, hopefully. You're gonna need muffin tins. This makes a dozen muffins, so that is 12. Um, you're gonna wanna grease your muffin tins or you're gonna wanna line them with paper. I've chosen to line mine. Now the recipe said something about greasing your paper liners, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So <laughs> it just seems like too much. I'm not using my mixer today. That is something that the recipe did say, you don't wanna over mix these because it's gonna make the muffins tough. And um, yeah, I muffins, you know, the world is tough and you should be tough. Unless you're a muffin, then you shouldn't be tough. So <laughs> let's get into this. In my big, oop, look at me knocking things over already. As long as I haven't spilled anything. Okay in our big mixing bowl here. I have got, what do I have here? A cup and a half of all-purpose flour, three-fourths of a cup of white whole wheat flour. Now, I don't have white whole wheat flour, I just have regular whole wheat flour. That's good enough. Um, we've got one-third of a cup of sugar and we're just gonna mix that all together, okay? Getting that all good and mixed up in my little mixing bowl. Now, we have, what's in here? What did I put in here? Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. Boom, there we go. Oh, also a fourth a teaspoon of salt, which I forgot to add, so let me just grab that real fast. Who's measuring it? Not me. Okay. Oops. Into here is gonna go currants or raisins. Uh, one and one fourth cups to be precise. Now, I couldn't find currants at my rural grocery store. Uh, but I did get raisins, and this is not going to be enough raisins. I realize that. That's okay. Um, I have to confess, I'm not a big raisin kind of person, so this is going to be interesting. 
Um, yeah, this is, this is what we're, that one sounded like it still had raisins in it. I should check them before I, it's like throwing salt over your shoulder. Yep, still has raisins in it. <laughs> Chaos baking. That's okay, I'm the one that has to clean the kitchen after this, it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my gosh, these are sticking. Um, because I put them in the fridge. <laughs> because when I baked for this, I just stuck everything in the fridge so that I would know where it was and I wouldn't have to go looking for these special ingredients. Um, that's okay, it's fine. I don't know what a currant is. I don't, is that just like a really fancy European raisin? I don't know, I don't know what that is. So I have regular raisins. Uh, yep, and now there are raisins on the floor. That's just how life goes sometimes. Okay, we're gonna stir in those raisins and then we're gonna set this aside or currants. You could do currants, it's cool. Setting that aside. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot a thing. Surprise edition, caraway seeds. I have no clue what a caraway is, but I bought them and they smell good. It, it, it reminds me of something, um, almost like dill, but not quite. Now the recipe says uh, a half to two teaspoons to taste. I don't, I don't know how we're supposed to taste that. So I'm gonna split the difference and do uh, a full teaspoon. And I'm not, <laughs> this is gonna be a thing for me because I have texture issues. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the texture of these muffins thanks to the raisins and the caraway seeds. Sure, they're gonna have fantastic flavor, but the texture, I don't know. Okay, seeds are mixed in. Now we're gonna get on the other good stuff. Let me grab a fork, cause we have to mix up one egg. Um, and a cup of buttermilk. You don't have to use buttermilk. You could use yogurt or sour cream. But let me show you what I have because I do like the flavor of buttermilk, but I don't make enough things with buttermilk. They make powdered shelf-stable buttermilk. You just mix this with water. So because we're gonna use a cup of it, um, it's a cup of water and four tablespoons of this buttermilk mixture. Um, my buttermilk mixture is, when did I buy this? Uh-oh. No, it's still good. Okay. It's a little hard. That's okay. I'm just going to go with it here. It'll mix. It'll mix. Um, to, you know what, we're just going to, yeah. Chaos baking, this is absolutely a chaos recipe today. That's okay, that's fine, everything's fine. Smells like buttermilk though. Um, so maybe if you do use this stuff, check on it if it's been in your pantry for a while. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. And you're gonna mix that up so it's not lumpy anymore. And then we're gonna add that to our egg. <laughs> I try not to use metal utensils in my nice um, uh, measuring cups. Boy, I am having a real brain treat to drain, bleh, 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 see? And this is how you know this is not a professional uh, show. There we go. All of my lumps are melting into the water and it smells like buttermilk. So that's something to keep in mind because I think I've got a few other recipes that are gonna use the buttermilk. I do have one big lump in here that's not going down, so I'm just gonna make sure that doesn't go in. Um, I'm just gonna kind of strain it out. No biggie. All right, there's my one cup of buttermilk minus the lumps. We're mixing that together with our egg. And then six tablespoons of melted butter. 
If you don't want to use butter, you can use a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I'm using butter. Butter is better. All right, mixing that up gently because I probably should have used a bigger bowl. Okay, remember what I said about over mixing the muffins. We don't want to do that. So we are going to pour our liquid in with our solid and just gently mix until our solids are no longer dry. We're not over mixing because we don't want tough muffins. Almost there. It's a very dry mixture. I don't know how I feel about that. It's dry like my humor. It's okay, we got this. Almost there, just have a little bit on the bottom. Okay, I think this is pretty well mixed. It's, <laughs> it's not liquidy, that's for sure. Um, gosh, did I miss something? I'm just gonna make sure. I'm just gonna go down the list here. Uh, okay, what did we do? We did the flour, we did the flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, the salt, the sugar, the raisins, the caraway seeds, one egg, one cup of buttermilk, six tablespoons of melted butter, Okay, I didn't miss anything. It just feels like I did. This was too easy and I don't trust it. Into the baking cups. Supposed to be three fourths of the way full. I'm gonna use a spoon to fill these because this is a really thick, check this out. Like that's a, that's a thick dough right there. Um, so that is a full cup. I don't want that much in there. So, boy, I think I like making muffins a little bit better when it's more of a liquid and you pour it in. But honestly, my experience with making muffins is the uh, Martha White mixes. Our favorite is the chocolate chocolate chip. So I will have to come back in and kind of redistribute this a little more, I think. But right now I'm just trying to get all the cups filled. That way I can see where I'm at and try to make them even and buy some time because the oven is not preheated yet. I really thought this was gonna take just a little bit longer. Oh, we're not done. There will be another step to this, so. So don't get too excited. I swear it shouldn't be this thick. But what do I know? I'm gonna put my faith and my trust into King Arthur. They haven't steered me wrong yet. I have done all all of the steering on anything that's ended up not working uh, looking at you bacon tarts i'm still salty about that i i'm absolutely going to remake those but okay we'll put a little more in here um because i might be overfilling these i am 100 percent going to put these tins on a baking sheet when i put them in the oven because i don't know what's going to happen they might just burst right out of the top. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Chaos baking, squirrel. Um, put a little bit more in this one. I'm kind of mushing it in there some. I got one up here. Let's see, I can fit a little bit more in this one. And a little bit more in this one. And the last of my dough can go in this one. Okay, 
Almost ready to put these, let me set all the dirty dishes aside. Almost ready to put these in the oven, but we are going to sprinkle them with coarse sugar. Coarse sparkling sugar, but I am using my cane sugar because my gosh, do I have a lot of it. And it may not be the prettiest thing out there, but it gets the job done. You know, I, I'm gonna mush this one a little bit more in here. Um, these are absolutely sticking to my paper cups. So, <clears throat> so maybe you should grease the papers like the recipe says to. Um, this might be one of those episodes where future Katie uh, will warn you at the beginning to not listen to past Katie because past Katie was being awful cocky about this and messed it up. That happens. I try to save you. You learn from my mistakes. All right, a little bit more sugar on the rest of these. Here I thought this was gonna be like an easy recipe. There's gonna be no way that I would make a mistake on such an easy recipe. Here we are. Um, yeah, more sugar. If there's more sugar, I'll try to, I, maybe I won't remember about the caraway seeds and the raisins. Okay. Okay. Oh, da, 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 da. These are going to go into the oven for 20 minutes, okay? 400 degrees, 20 minutes. Now when I make um, muffins, they usually go in for 14 minutes. So because I'm paranoid, I'm gonna set a timer for 14 minutes to check on these. A toothpick in the center should come out clean. When you pull them out of the oven, the recipe says, and this is the first time I've ever heard this, so I'm excited to try it. You tip them on their sides in the muffin tin so that the bottoms don't get soggy. So you pull them out of the oven, you tip them on their side, and you leave them there for five minutes, okay? And then you're going to put them on a wire rack to finish cooling. You can serve them warm, you can serve them plain with butter or jam. I'm gonna go the butter route because I can't imagine what kind of jam I would even put on these. So, all right, I will see you back in about a half hour. Good luck. Okay, so my muffins took about 18 minutes and they don't look pretty, but they smell really good. I'm gonna slap some butter on here and give it a try. Mm. Okay. Nope. Okay, no, mm -mm. The flavor is really good, but like I was worried about the texture is not okay with me. Um, ooh, caraway seed is not where it's at. Maybe if I were to grind them up, it would be better, but that is not gonna work for me. Um, mm, okay. The raisins really plumped up and got really juicy. So I actually like that. But the texture from the caraway seeds really ruins this for me. Um, I like the flavor. I like the way they smell. I cannot stand the texture though. So that makes me really sad. Um, oh, okay. You know what? Seven out of 10 stars. And I know I've never rated these with stars before, but maybe I'll start doing that. Um, Flavor's good, texture is a no from me. If you don't have texture problems, maybe this is great for you. Maybe you're gonna love these. Um, I will not be making these again and I will be giving the leftovers to uh, my neighbor because I'm not gonna eat these. <laughs> and that's okay, that's okay. You win some, you lose some, and out of the many weeks that I've been doing this now, this is only the second recipe that has not turned out. None of them have turned out exactly as planned, but this is the only, this is one of two 
that I will not finish eating and I will not make again. And the other one of those was the bacon tarts that I undercooked and made myself sick off of. So um, yeah, okay, not making these again, but I hope that yours turned out really well and I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Um, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and tune in next week for another slightly odd recipe, but crossing my fingers, I think it's gonna taste really good. Um, also go over to the Facebook page. The link is in the comments below. Every Wednesday morning, I'll post the ingredient list for what we'll be baking that week. Um, having said that, I'm going to go bag these up so I can get them. See, I can see the seeds. Ugh. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go take care of this and I'll see you next week.